everyone, I'm Catherine Decina Sapelin and welcome to Book Dissect, where I take the best and worst of books to help you be a better writer. Today I'm dissecting Raptor Red by Robert T. Backer. Disclaimer guys, this will have spoilers, so if you're still here, I'm assuming you don't care, so let's ruin the book. I'm starting off with all the things that I didn't like about the book because there aren't that many and then the rest of the video will just be me gushing over how much I enjoyed the book. I picked up the book because I thought it was going to be about a raptor and then when I started reading it, it wasn't. And so I did feel cheated for a little bit, but the book starts off with him having this conversation with the guy and how they discovered the Utah raptor, that's raptor red, and I, at first thought that the book was just going to be about him and I was very disappointed because I didn't want to read a story about him. I wanted to read a story about a raptor. But it's okay guys because like after the first chapter it goes into Raptor Red. But that was something I didn't like. However, I, I understand it now and it does make sense because he comes back at the end to give like a summary of Raptor Red. And it, it tied in nicely, but it was like, I'm not happy, where's my dinosaur type moment. Second bad thing that I didn't like about the book, and it's within the bunny quotes of death, is that sometimes it dragged, but it didn't drag for a bad reason. It dragged because I was really invested in the storyline of Red Raptor. And Robert would sometimes go off on a little tangent and talk about the surroundings that Red Raptor lived in. And don't get me wrong, they were interesting and very informative. And yeah, they were great to read about, but it was like, yeah, okay, this is nice, this is nice, but what happens with Raptor Red? Like, I, I wanna know what's going on with her. Like, let's have this all at the end. And yeah, it's, there were a couple times where I got frustrated because while I was interested in these little side stories, it was like, I want to know what happens with Raptor Red. You left me off at a very, very interesting point, author. And so it's a good thing, but I also did enjoy that. All right, getting into all the things that I liked about this book. Seriously, guys, read this book. Wow, that's, that's the number one word that I will most likely be repeating throughout this video. It's just, wow, I was very impressed with this book and I think as a writer there's so much that you can take out of this because there's so many different techniques that are used and they're all techniques that people constantly ask about like number one is point of view this has multiple points of view so first is the author himself where you have him speaking about the discovery of Raptor Red in the first chapter and then there's this whole summary in the last chapter the Majority of the book is told from the perspective of Raptor Red, which is the Utah Raptor, the dinosaur, but you will have specific chapters that actually go into the point of view of some other prehistoric animal. You had a whole chapter about this thing called the Algae, and I'm probably just butchering that, but it's this little animal that ate these little bugs and ended up saving Raptor Red from dying in the night. There's also this whole chapter about um, like the prehistoric crocodiles. And what's so amazing about all these little side stories is that it sort of tells the whole evolution. And so what was very moving to me is that there's a scene where it talks about the prehistoric crocodiles and then it goes on to say how that particular prehistoric crocodile was the great 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 grandmother of modern crocodiles. It was very eye-opening because I don't think I've ever sat down to think, well what's the evolution of a crocodile or a bird or an insect or a flower? I've thought about evolution of humans but not of any other living creature or thing on earth and that's what was so great about this book because it does even talk about the evolution of flowers and how this flower it would evolve and change to be the, the specific species of flower that we know today and i found that all really interesting and so second point would be this is a great example of writing what you know and if you don't research Robert T Backer is an archaeologist and so I'm assuming that he has multiple bachelors in various archaeological 
that's a word, stuff. You can tell in his writing that everything seems really well researched and it was just, it was so interesting. Like, even though this is for adults, I think this would be a good read for kids because the whole time I was reading it, I thought, I would have loved this book back in the fifth grade because in fifth grade I was convinced that I was going to be an archaeologist and this book is just amazing. I love it. The third thing that I enjoyed about this is the information came with a twist because I think most people when they think of dinosaurs they are going to think of Jurassic Park and they're going to think reptiles and lizards but this sort of challenged my perspective because the social structure that Raptor Red had in the book was comparable to birds. And I thought that was really interesting because I never considered dinosaurs like birds. It was a different take on something that I thought I understood and knew, but the reality is when it comes to dinosaurs, we really don't know. It's just matter of opinion based on the evidence and how that evidence is interpreted by really smart scientist people and not all of them agree. My last observation from this book, and this could be good or bad depending on what your perspective is, but a lot of the animals that are discussed in this book, I really didn't have a point of reference to envision them. And the book did provide pictures and examples of the animals and an index in the back, and there were even pictures for each chapter, but I'm not entirely sure that the picture of the animal was actually the same animal being talked about. But at least for me, it sort of motivated and inspired me to look up these animals so that I could have that point of view, so that I could understand better like the animals and what they look like. But when it came to the description of the animals, if you don't know what's being talked about, I think it's difficult to have effective descriptions because there are descriptions and I would say the way that he described them was effective it's just without that point of reference yeah it sort of made the reading experience like less amusing and that's not a good word to describe the reading experience because I did enjoy the book but I think overall it just it makes me sad because these are these amazing animals and I just I lacked the education to know what he was talking about so that that's I guess it's a flip of a coin depending on the reader like if you're somebody that's like I'm going to take initiative and go look up these animals because I'm interested then that's a good thing but if you're somebody like I don't know what he's talking about and this is making the story boring then that would be bad but I think this is a question more of who's your target audience than anything else and I was interested, so I looked them up, and so I feel like this book has improved upon my mind even though it's a fiction book because I learned so much about dinosaurs and I, I was overall very happy with this book. You guys should check it out. I'm going to be leaving it in the link below. I'll of course be writing a companion blog post where I'll talk more about the book. I really can't recommend this book enough. I'm so happy that I happened upon it and picked it up and read it because this book was just amazing and I'm disappointed that I just found it because I would have loved this book as a kid. Christmas is coming up. Get this for your children. It's great. But that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this book dissect. If you read this book, then leave your own opinions about it in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Tootsings May Apple Zines. When I was finished with it, I was genuinely so sad because there was this realization that Raptor Red was dead and all the dinosaurs talked about it were dead. And I went to Twitter very upset saying how dinosaurs are dead. And it is only because of my friend Cariad who commented, or are they really, that put a smile back on my face.